Hello everyone, George here, and we're doing something a little bit different. I'm kind of tired of doing work and all the other things that are going on in my life, and I bought a lot of books recently. And the one book that I've really been interested in jumping into is this one called The Ray Tracer Challenge. And what I'm doing here is I'm challenging myself to complete this book by kind of making a video series about it. Uh, we're not... I'm not sponsored or anything by this book. It's just something interesting and cool. I've been spending a lot of time in Unity and with Unity you have all these high level things that make your life really easy. But every now and then you wanna jump back into the low level stuff and see how it all works. And I've been kind of far and away from the low level stuff for a while now. Uh, and I thought this book would be perfect. Pretty much what this book is all about, and I haven't read it all yet, I've just read a few chapters, is we're going to create our own ray tracer from the ground up using nothing else at all. We're gonna basically do this. We're gonna go to Visual Studio, which we're going to do right now, open it up, and we're going to start a new C-sharp project. I'm using the C-sharp language because that's what I primarily program into right now, just because that's what I'm doing with uh, Unity. Just makes sense. Wow, we can look at all these projects. So anyway, let's go ahead and actually, I have not created a new project in C-sharp in forever. So, uh, oh wow, C++, should we go down that route? No, let's, let's do C-sharp. So let's do a, let's see, getting started. We want to do a console application, and let's call this the the Ray Tracer Challenge. We'll have it save right there. That's actually, no, let's put it somewhere else. Let's put this on my drive. Let's do uh, Ray Tracer Challenge. There we go, select folder, make it a console app. I don't see any reason to make it a desktop app at this time. Maybe we'll change that later on. Uh, .NET Framework 4.6.1, that sounds fine to me. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and hit okay. All right, and it's bootstrapped us with a uh, namespace class program static void main inside of that program. I'm assuming that's how C Sharp does it. Once again, it's actually been probably close to eight years since I've uh, programmed in straight up C Sharp and not using Unity. Um, probably should have picked Python or C++ because those ones I'm much more familiar with. But anyway, I need to get my C Sharp skills kind of back up to snuff anyway. So I'm gonna run off now. I'm gonna read the first chapter. I'm gonna come back here, implement it, and then we'll speed through that on a you know fast forward settings. And then I'll talk about the implementation while I do that and, and where I'm at. And then hopefully at the end of the series, we'll have a, a ray tracer. If any of you out there are interested in following along, uh, feel free to pick up the book. Uh, it's called The Ray Tracer Challenge. I bought my copy off Amazon, but if you go to their main website, it looks like you can buy an ebook, uh, a paper book, or this other ebook. These prices seem a little high. I don't think I paid that much for it. I'll have to check, but uh, you know, get the ebook if you can. I have the paper book just because I like having something that I can put on a bookshelf. But anyway, if you wanna follow along, feel free to comment along with me. I don't know how many videos this is gonna be. It might be one big video or it might be several smaller ones. I don't know what I'm getting into right now. But uh, let's jump in and make a ray tracer.